Hello everyone, today I'm gonna demonstrate how to get the Golang version of Pope Operator running on OpenShift. So if you go to Operators, Operator Hub, and type in Pope, you can see that's already um, a log entry there, but this one is the Ansible version one because we haven't added the Golang one to the OpenShift catalog yet. So for adding a catalog entry for the Golang version, let me go to the terminal. So I'm gonna CD into Poke Operator. Make sure you are in, in the Go branch, like the Go-1.0.0-beta dash dash branch. So I'm gonna open the editor. So if, if you go to .ci assets Kubernetes, you can find the catalog file there, and you can see that it uses the pop operator catalog image for the V1 beta. Let me copy it. So I uh, I just go to as I would create any resource like a secret, and I go create from YAML. Then I delete everything that is there, and I paste the catalog in that I copied before, and I'm gonna hit create. So it will be. Is adding the Golang version there. So let me go back to the operator hub. Uh, refresh. So yeah, the Go based one was added here. So let's install it. I'm gonna hit install. Install again, and then let's wait it for the installation. We've got installed. Let's click on View Operator, and then we're gonna click on. We're gonna create a pop instance. All the default values are fine, and you, you, you can like customize that. Like let's give it the name like Pulp, and you can have like customize the API, like increase the replicas. You can have some advanced configuration of the API, like changing the unicorn timeout, the amount of workers. And we have also the same configs for replicas, worker, you can pick the ingress type, Let, let's keep it route. You can change the storage type to S3 or Azure, and so many more advanced configuration. So I'm, I'm gonna like let the default settings here. I'm gonna just do a little trick here on YAML. So as uh, the default Kubernetes doesn't have like NFS, the read write menu won't work for the file storage for the file storage type. So I'm gonna just change it to read write once and then I'm gonna hit create. So you can go to workloads, pods, and you can see that it, it's already creating all the pods. So let me see here the pop operator. You can go to logs and change it to manager and see the uh, the logs for the Golang pop operator.
and you and you can see the logs of the other pods like hope comp and pod you can go into the terminal and let's see the settings file for example uh, so here I'm, I'm on the pop content pod you can go to API pod for example same thing you can see the logs you can use the terminal and the pulp operator created some routes let me, let me check then so networking routes so here you can see all the routes that the operator has created let's see the slash pop slash api v3 i'm gonna open it in a new tab So we can see that it is running. We can go to the status endpoint. So yeah, the installation is fine. You can see all the plugins there. Oh. Let me copy this address. Okay, let's see, let's turn this base URL. Uh, let me disable the SSL. So yes, now we have the CLI configured locally. So yeah, this is how we get the Golang versions working on the machine. I let me see if we can have more things uh, let's see install it operator so yeah we create the, the pop resource we can create a backup to backup everything and a restore to to restore the backup and let me open again the the pop so yeah, you can you can see all the other options here. You can predefine your admin password secret, but when you don't do that, as we we did before, the secret is automatically created for you. So you, you can go to secrets and check it here. So as I put the name Pope. I'm gonna filter by it so I can see all the secrets that the operator has created. So it created a DB fields encryption, it creates uh, container authentication secret, and the post risk configuration. So if you can, uh, I wanted to see what was the admin password that the operator has created. I can I can go to the Pope admin password and I can review the value and copy it here. Um, that's it for today. Thank you all.